the net and the vice is beginning to close around the University of Michigan. Every day there are news. And, and look, when this story first broke about the Michigan sign-stealing scandal, we told you. Look, When I say we're ahead of the curve, it means because we are. Every day there was going to be new stories about teams that thought they were getting their sign stolen or what this guy was doing and, 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 and where he was going and what, what tickets he's gotten to games, what games he gone, he's gone to see in the past. And today th- is the day that if it should tell you anything, it should tell you that don't expect to see Michigan in the college football playoffs. Really? You think that's okay? going to go that far? Look. Connor I don't St- think anybody's got the tooth, to, the teeth to do it. Connor Stallions is the guy at the crux of this. The guy who had been allegedly, and according to all the reports, they have evidence, they have his computer, electronically taping signs from the sideline using his iPhone and then bringing it back, and then Michigan was parsing it out and figuring things out. When this first broke, I told you the most interesting thing was, hey, if this is 2021, all of a sudden that explains Michigan's jump from we're a three-loss or a four-loss-a-year team to suddenly now we're a national championship contender, and that's exactly when it was. It goes back to 2021, and suddenly stealing the signs works. And, yes, I understand that when I hear Deion Sanders say it's our job to stop it, and I hear in college football other coaches say it's not that big a deal, and you get unnamed coaches saying, hey, if you think Michigan's the only one to do it, you're wrong. But remember – the NCAA hates Jim Harbaugh, okay? When the cheeseburger story came out and Harbaugh was going to get punished, the NCAA actually put out a statement saying it's not just a hamburger. The NCAA never does that. They never put well, out and anything. and they shouldn't have been right? allowed right? to do but that, that tells in, the, you, in the course of right. events either. But that tells you the, what, what the, the, the bee in their bonnet they have for Harbaugh. So now that you have this, and this is fabric of the game type stuff, right? This is a cheating scandal. You watch Major League Baseball. They still can't get out from under the Astros scandal because Rob Manfred refused to punish the Astros for it. What other recourse is the NCAA going to have than to ban Michigan from playing in the bowl game or the rest of the season? You do now, it like Abreu. You, you push the uh, suspension the next the, year. The college, but, but this is about this year and them having their best season because they know Harbaugh will just leave. He'll go to the NFL. Something will happen. This is not going to be a, we caught you. Hey, good luck the rest of this year because next year, boy, watch out. No, this is going to be this year. They're going to tell Michigan you're ineligible to win the Big Ten. Right, because that's what they can control. They can't control the playoff, but you tell me how that relationship would go if the college football playoff says, yeah, screw you, we're still inviting them. So if they get banned from winning or, or called ineligible to win the Big Ten title, right, they'll still play the rest of their games. not going to not play their games, but if they're banned from winning the Big Ten title, the college football playoff's not going to go, screw you, we're going to go. No, they want to make sure the relationship is great. They don't want to They don't want to put a team in play in the playoff that's been caught cheating. You really think that the playoff is going to say, yes, we want a team that got caught cheating, and it's such a bad optic, and it's such a bad instance where they were using all these electronic devices that we're going to still have them in the playoff. What about the, what are the other three teams going to say? Wait, you're allowing them in the playoff? That's not going to happen. If Michigan gets banned and called ineligible from winning the Big Ten, which is probably what's going to happen, then they're not going to be able to play in a bowl game either. And, that's, and, and they're not going to be able to play in the national championship in the college football playoff. So it's going to be, we're going to play Ohio State, and no matter what our record is, that's the end of the year. Because that's how serious this is. This is the way how you can tell, how far you can tell it's going. You can't push off a, quote, fabric of the game type story. No matter what the coaches think, no matter what the different schools think about this and how, well, is it that big a deal? It's not cool what they were doing, but it's something we should be able to stop. It doesn't matter because the NCAA – with with how they feel about Michigan and how they see what goes on in other sports, when they don't deal with cheating the right way, they're going to come down with a hammer on Michigan, and that's going to be the outcome. We told you that when it broke. If there's electronic evidence, and this is Michigan caught fit, this is Spygate for college football, they're not going to make that mistake of, ah, hey, I'm going to dock the Patriots a couple of draft picks, and, and I'm going to destroy all the evidence. No, no, you can't get away with that anymore. And if college football did that, they, they wouldn't want to deal with the optic and, and what would come at them afterwards. So they're going to ban Michigan, and they're going to not play after Ohio State. That's where this is going. Ooh. I'm telling you. Yeah, you're going uh, full dumpster fire burning through. The NCAA trying to prove they still have some teeth. This one's just the curiosity of it, of it all, right, in terms of changing out your signals, not being recognizable game to game. 
and I don't know, just general paranoia of coaches that I would have assumed something like this was going on. And again, it's not excusing it, uh, but you know, to some degree, it's the old uh, I get creative. I'm curious what kind of uh, notes they were putting out uh, in terms of the, you know, what he put in uh, for his reimbursement for tickets and everything else. What were the notes? Uh, and as we talked about uh, before, you know, the, you're talking about freedom of information and and being able to get at, at the heart of it. You know, something John Palmarosi was kind of putting out. So it, it's just that curiosity of what's the next iteration? Because, all right, now we, we have this long history of a ticket purchases and appearances at these games. What do you do with it? Right? For the NCAA... You may not like Jim Harbaugh, but you, you've got to be sure. I mean, look, you always say make an example of folks, right? That's the general rule. It's like, well, the the other teams didn't get caught. He did. Just making sure that you're given the same energy to any other uh, potential investigations that are out there. And I had no way of absolving it. And if it's that deep, you know, what are you going to say? It was a benevolent Benefactor? No, it's been proven the dude was on staff. Mm-hmm. Right, it's one thing, like in in my my initial and our initial talks of it, it's like you know anybody could do that from the stands, which would have been the easier way for them to go instead of hey this guy yeah. bought tickets, but and, and there's paper trails and whatever else. Like if you were just getting it from all fan blogs and you know you know Joe Bob is going to go in his <laughs> you know X whatever the proper zip code is is going to go to every game and he's going to make available the best information that he can and you just happen to go on to those message boards and chat rooms and and see hey he put up a video you know what what's to stop that in this case you want you start getting into a more orchestrated where seeking reimbursement there's some other uh ideas of you know putting money in in players pockets and whatever like there's there's a lot of those details that are still uh coming out day to day I don't know that they get get down to the full road that, that you do, but certainly uh, a harshly worded reprimand. Uh, it's going to be bad. Because they know Harbaugh is going to leave anyway. But they but but, <laughs> but that's why they want to get him now. And and they can easily defend, well, you're out after Jim Harbaugh, and all they got to do is say, electronic evidence, we have everything. Right? As long as they have everything, and it seems like they do, that's going to be the outcome. You can say, oh, you're being too harsh. Look at the evidence. We have it. We have it all. And they'll tell you exactly what the evidence is, so it can't be all you're picking on Michigan. Even though other schools, how they treat me, they're going to be able to defend it, and that's going to be how it goes. It's going to be harsh, and it's going to be quick, and they're going to play against Ohio State, and that's going to be it. That's where this is going. It's going to end soon. It's going to end before. It'll end before you get to the the selection for the playoff. You, it, it will be done before that. The at the at by, by the end of the conference championship games they'll have that decision so the teams can be selected and not have to worry about selecting michigan but then they're going to get deemed ineligible so you're taking the fifth ranked team no they're going to make that selection that will all be done by the end of the conference championship look at you so i'm telling you man i can see it you're trying to lay down you're just trying to stay out of detroit for it's Christmas. happening man <laughs> This is an elaborate scheme this, by I can't you. Go back. I'm I can't going go back. full hot take because it's never going to be righted again. 